All right. Now in this video, we will study the GABA receptor. The GABA receptor is of two types. The first is the GABA A and the GABA B receptor. The GABA A is a type of ionotropic receptor and GABA B is a type of metabotropic or the G protein coupled receptor. But in this video, we will only focus on the GABA A receptor. All right. Now, first of all, let's see the structure of the GABA A receptor. I will try to make two views. The first is the front view and second is the top view of the receptor. Coming to the front view, now the GABA A receptor is uh, pentameric. It consists of five subunits which are arranged partly extracellularly and partly intracellularly. And uh, these five subunits are two alpha subunits, two beta subunits, and one gamma subunit arranged around a central pore. Now let's look at this receptor from the top view. It consists of the central chloride pore and uh, two drug binding sites. Mainly it consists of three drug binding sites, but for the purpose of illustration, I have just drawn two. The first is the benzodiazepine binding site and the second is the GABA binding site. Okay, now two alpha subunits, two beta subunits and one gamma subunit. Now between the alpha and the beta subunit is the GABA binding site. Same as here on the front view and same on the top view. And between the alpha and the gamma subunit is the benzodiazepine binding site or the BZD allosteric site. Now the next important thing I would like to discuss is the mechanism of action of this GABA receptor. Now the basic step involved in the activation of the GABA receptor is binding of a ligand or drug to the GABA site or the benzodiazepine binding site. Now due to this binding the central chloride pore it opens up and causes influx of the chloride ions now which further causes inhibition of the neuron by creating a state of hyperpolarization in the neuron. Now let's look at some of the drugs which act on the GABA receptor. First of all, I would like to discuss the gamma aminobutyric acid or the GABA. Now this drug or it's an basically an endogenous agonist of the GABA receptor. It is released at various sites in the CNS and it acts on the GABA site and causes the same sequence of events we have just discussed. Now the second class of drugs that we will discuss are grouped under as positive allosteric modulators. Now these drugs bind to the benzodiazepine binding site and cause the same chain of events. Now in this category, first of all, we have the benzodiazepines, the diazepam, clonazepam. These just act on the benzodiazepine binding site. They are the positive allosteric modulators. Now second class of drugs are the barbiturates, the thiopental, and the third class of important drugs are the muscle relaxants like thiocolgic acide. Also, um, alcohol acts on this site. And then we have some anesthetic drugs like propofol and etomidate. There are some other drugs, but they are not that important as these classes. The third important category of the drugs are the negative allosteric modulators. Now, there are a whole bunch of drugs 
which are known as negative allosteric modulators. But the one I would like to like you to remember is flumazenil. Now this very important drug, it blocks the benzodiazepine site or you can say that it is a negative allosteric modulator of the benzodiazepine site. Now this drug is given in benzo benzodiazepine overdose and also it is given in the reversal of the anesthesia. Now let's look at the effects of activation of the GABA receptor. Now the various drugs which act on this receptor produce numerous effects, some of which are anxiolysis, anticonvulsant effect, the sedative effect, partial amnesia, and muscle relaxation. So this was a short review of the GABA receptor's function and structure. I hope you liked the video. If you find the video informative, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, I will make a 3D model of the GABA receptor soon. So make sure to subscribe to my channel to get an update on that video. Thank you so much guys for watching.